Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your man here, Kidder85, and I am back for another installment of my Let's Play Pokemon Infinity. And today, you guys are going to be t continuing on here in Genesis Forest. And um, I'm really excited for today's episode for a few reasons. The first of which is that um, I've been kind of talking to Atomic Reactor about um, the game and... Um, a few things so uh the first thing is um there will be an update coming out tomorrow ish i think um that's up to him that's what he told me it'd be sometime probably tomorrow or the next day i don't want to put a timestamp for him like i don't want to like make this become a due date but that's what he told me but don't be mad if it doesn't come out tomorrow or anything because obviously i want to let him do what he needs to do whatever um, but he said it'll probably come out tomorrow. Anyways, um, first up, let's take a very quick look at our party. Um, again, uh, I want to thank you guys for the support, uh, on the series so far. Uh, I know the views have kind of dimmed down a little bit over the past few episodes, but that's okay. Hopefully, for those of you who are still here, are here for the long haul, which I appreciate very much. Anyways, f uh, let's take a look at our party. First up, we have Brutoad, level 23. This is an Obsidian starter, which is something that I did not know until after I finished recording yesterday's episode. Um, it's got Astonished Bubble Beam, Bite, and Nasty Plot. Uh, next, we have Luxio, level 26, with Tackle, Wild Charge, Bite, and Thunder Wave. Kadabra, level 26, with Teleport, Confusion, Disable, and Miracle Eye. Staravia, level 26, with Whirlwind, Fly, Quick Attack, and Wind Attack. Ivy Sword level 27 with Magnitude, Sludge Bomb, Leech Seed, and Thorn Whip. And finally, Cleffa, who's just along for the ride. Um, so, another thing that um, Atomic Reactor told me is that he, like, added some moves or added, like, Gen 6 moves or something like that to this game um, in 1.3. And what actually happened was um, Rototeller was mapped over what Thorn Whip was. So, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's really funny. That's really cool. Um, another thing that he provided me with is an updated tm.txt tm.txt why did i say it like that what he gave me an updated tm uh text file uh which now means that we can teach scald to uh brutoed which is very exciting because scald in my opinion is one of the best moves in pokemon um Though, I think we'll keep Bubble Beam, we'll probably just get rid of Astonish, because we're never going to use Astonish, ever. Um, even when it's super effective, most likely Bite will be super effective on that same Mon. Um, but other than that, uh, we are now in like the east, like northeast portion, I guess, of Genesis Forest. So, we'll be exploring that, although it looks like we're pretty close to an exit though it does have a few cut bushes so uh maybe maybe we won't be able to explore that area just yet but anyways let's go ahead and take on this bug trainer i assume we're about to face yeah there we go okay bugs evolve pretty early in their life cycle let me show you okay well bug catcher ricky please don't be too powerful okay never mind you're going to have a wormple interesting let's go ahead scald um, also interesting, Scald has 14 PP. We have not used it yet. Maybe it just mapped over Astonish's PP. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Um, also, Bug is super effective against Dark, so... Okay, never mind. It's just gonna stun Sport, which... Okay, that's a Paralyze animation. Jeez, I really like that animation. This thing is gonna absorb us. Um, it is super effective. That actually did a lot more damage than I would... Uh, firstly assume that it would do and we're going to be fully paired well now that we're kind of in this annoying battle um i guess i have a few things to talk about today um which is something that i don't normally have because i have such a boring life but um first thing is we almost lost our dog today um that's weird so we have like a real our house is kind of like a really weird setup we have like two different garages right um and uh, we let our dog out into the um, the garage, right? Because um, one of them's attached to our house, and the other one's like not attached, obviously. So what happened was, my dad gets home, and my dad parks 
in the garage that's not attached to my house. Um, and like, but he has like controls for both garages in his car. So he opens both garages in his car. He goes to park in the second one. Well, my dog's in the garage that's connected to our house. So he has no idea that the dog just leaves our garage while he's doing that. So my mom notices that that happens and freaks out, sprints outside, and we go on this wild chase for our dog that takes like five minutes long. Like all four family members, right? And Sorry, I, I can't multitask. I'm trying to tell a story and heal a Pokemon at the same time. So what ends up happening is that um, I finally have the idea to look in the other garage because my dad, what happened was like my dad got out of his car. He started looking for the dog um, and um, like finally he... Like, like, he closed the garage before he went to go look for it. So I opened the, the second garage, right? That's not attached to our house. And our dog is in there the whole time. So we were just... Also, it was raining out. So we were just out there, like, in 40-degree weather for five minutes, just running around looking for our dog. And here she is in the garage. <laughs> just, like, all safe. And you, she, was def she definitely heard us, like, yelling her name and whatnot. Um, but... We found her. I mean, I guess it wasn't almost lost her because we didn't really almost lose her because we would have found her no matter what. But still, it was really a scary experience. My whole family was distraught. Um, luckily, I was the one who found her too. Um, I always say this thing that like me and my dog have like a telepathic relationship, right? Um, because I was the one who picked out my dog. We were at the... Um, we're at the Humane Society, and um, what happened was um, me and my mom. We knew we wanted to get a dog. Another paralysis. Are you kidding me? You really are. You, you really doing this to me right now? Anyways, um, we were at the Humane Society. We were like going around, and my mom just completely passes this dog, right? And I see her like obviously our dog was like had not had a haircut in a long time was super overgrown and I thought she was the cutest thing and to this day she's still the cutest thing but she but then we went to take her for a walk um, and she was really good at walking like and not not all dogs are like that we at that same humane society the humane society is like on a hill right so we walked this dog we're also about to almost die um, Humane Society's on a hill. A previous dog that we had walked that I really liked as well, <laughs> crazily enough, literally almost like ran out of its leash and down the hill. And we were going to have to go chase that thing. And that was not going to be fun. Um, but that's a different story. But she walked really well. And then the next day, um, she uh, we brought her whole family and we got her. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that Ever since day one, I've always like I always felt like I've had a very close relationship with their dog, so that's something. Anyways, um, maybe I'll wait just a little bit to tell the next story, just so I can realize what's actually going on in this game, because we've probably wasted a third of the episode because I don't know how to multitask. Anyways, let's probably Oko this Poliwag with a wild charge, and down it goes. Okay, there we go. Um, of course, we're going to be hurt by recoil as well. Fisherman Dennis is down for the count. And there's that. Okay, let's go ahead and heal up. Also, it seems that this area of the forest is just a little bit uh, less busy, less crowded, or like smaller, I guess, as well, is another word you can use, uh, than the first area of the forest. And hopefully we don't get paralyzed again, because that would suck. Also, I have no idea if we have a repel on. So let's hope I still do, because, you know, that would be bad. Anyways, we have another uh, bug catcher here, Lupus. With a worm pull, let's go ahead and scald you. Uh, take you out. 
We're also getting very close to where Brewtoad's like at the same level as every other uh, member on our party. So there's that. We're about we're doing about half to the dust duck, so one more skull should be able to take this thing out. And never mind, and it uses moonlight. Okay, this is fun, really fun, in fact. Um, if at all it ever stops spamming uh, moonlight, we'll be able to take it out. Um, but it's not gonna stop spamming moonlight, so, uh, welcome to, uh, a really fun episode. No, now it's gonna protect. Okay, really fun. Can we, like, just please take you out? Can you just, like, use Scald this turn now? Please? Never mind, we get a crit. Thank. You. Okay. There you go. We, we earned that experience right there. We definitely did. Cascoon is gonna be the next Mon in. Uh, hopefully one Scald will be able to take this thing out. Um, as we do. Okay. Then you go. In. Not very much experience. Why? We, our PP are, is shot now. We have no PP left. Uh, just kidding. I thought this was a busy area and clearly... I mean, a less busy area and clearly it's just as busy. Uh, I look? To use another one. Uh, yes. Use another repel, please. Also, um... Atomic Reactor also also said literally everything in this game is interactive, so I'm going to start pressing A on a bunch of walls and prove him wrong. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, also, Shroomish is not a Pokemon that uh, we want to face. So, that's something. Get Leech Seated, um, but hopefully Wing Attack will take this thing out in like one turn, because, you know, not trying to do that. Okay, second story. Not really a story, just a thing to say. My state literally just got put on lockdown. Um, like, it was called it like a stay at home order. So, uh, I guess you're, uh, we're definitely getting daily episodes. Like, <laughs> I was gonna keep uploading daily, but it's like, I have no reason to stop now. <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, Aerial Ace. Um, I think probably like five power more. Then, no, it's the same, but it, like, literally will never miss. Okay, cool. Well, we'll take Aerial Ace. Uh, level 26, level 27, 28 on Ivysaur. Uh, wants to learn Synthesis. I mean, no, just because we, literally we can use healing items. Um, like, I really... And synthesis is a good move, don't get me wrong, but when we can use healing items and heal more than half of, eight of our HP using a turn, there's no reason not to. Also affects Spore. Why? What the hell? But yeah, my state got put on lockdown. Or, we have a stay-at-home order until April 10th. Um, and I also just completely missed what's coming in next. Okay, low tab. Um, so, that's really fun. I can't wait to uh, not do anything. Luckily, I have neighbors. I mean, you know, if, you, if you've been around the channel for like years and years and years... You know that pistachio hut was a thing, and that was me and my neighbors, so... Uh... Everybody has nowhere to go, so I'm sure we'll be either playing basketball, maybe... Maybe... Maybe we do content for pistachio hut, but I would doubt that would happen. Uh, quite highly. Um, wait. What level is everybody? Okay. Good to know. Um, is this... No, it's not. Can we, like... Talk to this tree stump? No, we can't. Come on! No, I'm just kidding. There's the water snow. Also, I like the little touch of, like, the trees in the grass. That's cool. Also, there's probably going to be, like, items down here. So, I would like to go explore this area. Oh, more trainers. A lot of grass. No, please don't run to me. Okay, yes. Let's use another repel. Do, 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 do. Um, what's down this way? Ooh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, open the chest. One of these times, we're going to open the chest, and it's going to be, like... A wild Pokemon attacked you. That'll be fun. Okay, super repels. Okay, do, 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 do. let's continue on. Fun. All right. A uh, sweet swiggity swooty. I'm coming for that. What? I thought that was gonna be something like hippity hoppity get off my property, but unfortunately, it was just. Now that 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 dude was very uncreative. He needs he needs some more uh, creativity. 
in his words, you know, hippy hoppy, get off my property. He's way better than whatever that dude just said. Tell you that right now. Down goes the Bidoof. There's that. Um, Krogunk is going to be the next Mon in. Um, let's switch into Kadabra. Because we will definitely be able to Oko, and I don't want to risk this Krogunk having dry skin. Um, although it's probably not likely. Uh, it's still a possibility, and I don't really want to uh, waste a turn on that. So There's that. Luxio is level 28. Wants to learn Swagger. Absolutely not. Stop learning Swagger. Nuzleaf is going to be the next Mon in, which Brutoad is also not very good against. Um, let's wait. No, is Nuzleaf a Dark type? I don't think it's a Dark type just yet. Okay, that's Fake Out. Oh no! Wait, why did Fake Out do so much? Okay, two things. First up, Fake Out did not flinch us. Do we have Inner Focus? We do have Inner Focus. Okay, I was gonna be like, Atomic Reactor. I think that's a glitch. But no, we do have inner focus, so that's good. Uh, we don't get, we don't ever flinch, which is fun. Also, uh, catch me tomorrow going out to all the fast food restaurants, even though they're probably essential businesses or whatever. Um, I still, everybody's like freaking out about this, so catch me going to all the fast food places tomorrow. Youngster Blaine is down for the count. Uh, I think we're good on HP. Um, what's over here? Probably nothing, I would assume. There's a- Oh, there's the Pan Sage! Grass Knot as well. Um, not really looking to teach anybody that, uh, but cool. Cool nonetheless. Also, uh, let's use another repel. Um, let's just see. No. There is a rare candy here! I knew it! There's gotta be some reason we can go over there. <laughs> okay. So down, no, 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 oh, we can, there's the exit, okay, wait, is that the center area? That must be the center area, um, let's see, why, oh, we're gonna have to start using super repels now, <laughs> I just wanna make sure we've explored this whole area, which we clearly haven't, uh, moonstone, hopefully this is, Oh, there's also an item all the way over there. Have we fought you yet? I feel like we have fought you. Uh, yes, we have, okay. There is an item all the way over here, a full heal. Also, I feel like I haven't fought this dude. No, we definitely have. We definitely fought him, Never mind. Oh my god, a hundred steps goes so quickly. <laughs> Anyways, let's actually, oh, there we go. Also really helpful that we can just hop those jumps. This is definitely the area where we're supposed to go, so let's actually do it. Um, yeah, maybe I should heal up my Pokemon, but let's let's live life on the edge because yeah, this is definitely the area that we uh, were left at. But yeah, okay, wait, wait, huh? I thought the map. Oh, never mind. I don't know what I'm thinking anymore. Anyway. I don't know what what. It's been a day since I've recorded this, so... Here it is. Wait! Wait! Celebi? Was this the tile it was on? No, right here. No, wait. Huh? Wait. Ah! When you pressed the Windows key and you didn't mean to? Second episode in a row? Um... I'll be completely honest with you, I was not paying attention. <laughs> so, it could have been on any of these tiles. I, maybe I'm just being dumb. Or maybe that's what we need to do and we need to go talk to Thorin again or something. I don't know. Uh, a, another rappel already? It's a good thing we find like 10 rappels in every chest because if we didn't, it'd be an issue. Issue, excuse me. Um, so this must be the next area of the uh, woods. Uh, the mushrooms on Paris and Parasect are actually Parasite that control the Pokemon. Good to know. Don't, no trainers. I just want to explore this area. Let's go ahead. A leaf stone, okay. Um, are you a trainer? Uh, yes, you are, okay. 
I know it might be getting a little annoying that we're like fighting every trainer, uh, but I'm sorry. This is just how I use shit. And also, we just okay. First off, three things. That burn animation is great. We burned the lady buff. Wow. And our party must have gotten healed from the Celebi. So that's cool. I just completely missed. Okay, Heracross. Yeah, no. Uh, I would say absolutely not to that one. Okay, um, so our parties must have gotten healed. We must have to go south. Um, I mean, we're probably supposed to talk to Professor Thorn again, maybe, but I don't really want to have to run all the way back in here, so yeah, we're not doing that. Anyways, being quad effective, Aerial Ace is going to Oko the Heracross. Sarivi is going to get to level 29, and Kadabra is going to get to level 28 and wants to learn Psybeam. Well, it's a better move than Confusion, uh, but we're never going to use Miracle Literally, never. Dustox is the next mod in. I accidentally said no to switching out, so I guess we're uh, staying in against this thing. Aerial Ace is going to Oko it, so there you go. Nicely done. Clef is going to get to level 25. Silcoon's going to be the next Mon in. And honestly, we should probably be battling this Ivysaur more. <laughs> it's our starter. I know everybody loves its evolution, although I haven't seen it yet. And there's that Sandstorm animation I've missed. Anyways, let's go to Sludge Bomb. We have got 10 uses of these. And I forgot it's not super effective against bugs. I should really save it for the Paris and Parasect better here. You know, it'd be really smart if you thought, okay, if you used your brain, but you're not. That's why it didn't kill, because there was a light screen up. Okay, well, down goes the Silcoon. We're going to get to level 29, and Bug Fanatic April is down for the count. Okay, well, uh, Brutoad is still up front. Good. Good, good, good. Um, You're also a trainer. Battles are good for the soul. I agree. Battles are good for the soul. You lead off with a Kakuna. We're going to go ahead and Scald that. Hopefully that Oko's, I would assume so. It's level 16. Down you go. We're not getting very much experience from that. Parasect's going to be the next Mon in, and this is where we switch into Ivysaur. Because now we can use Sludge Bomb, and it'll be super effective. No, there I am using my brain. And that still doesn't take down the Parasect, although we do get a Poison, so maybe Poison will be enough. Probably not with Leech Life, because it is super effective. Not sure if it has Gen 7 or Gen 6 or whatever Gen Power. Um, but yeah, not with Sandstorm, even though we do have both. Uh, we'll not waste another one and use Thorn Whip. Hopefully Stab is enough to take it out. Thank you. Down you go. Um... Gain a decent amount of experience there. We got Sandstorm, and Paris is going to be the next amount in. I will tell you right now, I'm not even going to use... Slu Actually, just kidding, because all of our other moves aren't very effective against it. Down goes the Paris. Get no experience off you, and there's that. Okay. Uh, there's an item here. A net ball. Uh, cool if you want to catch any of the bug Pokemon in this area. Uh, why does that look like a Master Parasect? I'm not really trying to battle at you. Uh, there's a Revive here. Also some berries. I would, yes, like to pick the berries. And we return to its soft and lonely state. Okay. Um, and I accidentally run into one of you. Great. Okay. Well. I don't actually want to catch you. I'm sorry. I don't want to battle any of you. Again, I'm sorry. Um, let's not waste our steps. I feel like there's a hidden item down there, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do anything. Let's go ahead and use another repel. Where is it? We have seven left. Okay, we, we do actually have plenty left. Anyways, got another trainer here. The grass tickles my legs. TMI. TMI, dude. TMI, Tanner. Got a Beedrill, though. Um, let's see if uh, we can take this thing out. Um, we'll just require another Scalding Fury attack. 
only hits twice as well. It must be my lucky day. All right, down goes the Beagle. There we go. Enough to get us to level 28, and then some Luxius is going to get to 29. Beagle is going to be the next Mon in, and let's switch into Ivysaur. Again, I'm trying to get good experience on this thing. Uh, so yeah, Anyways, let's go ahead and Magnitude up next. It is a Magnitude 7, and for some odd reason, Beagle does not have Levitate. But Twin Needle is super effective, but please don't be... Oh, never mind. We don't even need that because we got Sandstorm. There we go. Down goes the Beagle. Gain some nice experience. Almost level 30. Staravia is going to get to 30 before us. Clef is going to get to 26. And down goes Bug Catcher Tanner. Uh, but we are going to require a fresh water after, uh, after that battle. Because uh, Ivysaur fought long and hard. Anyways, let's uh, let Ivysaur lead here. Um, just because Ivysaur has kind of fallen behind the rest of the team. Especially for it being a starter. Team 53 Energy Ball. Uh, let's see if anybody can learn that. Uh, let's see if anyone can learn Energy Ball. Um, Ivysaur can. Of course it can. Uh, that's going to be much better than Thorn Whip, uh, so we'll get rid of that. And for some reason, Cadaver can. I mean, I'll teach you Energy Ball. I had no idea that Evolution Line could learn Energy Ball of all things. Um, but yeah, let's get rid of a uh, teleport. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to teleport out of any caves anymore. But uh, whatever, that's just fine with me. And I don't honestly think we've explored this whole area. So we're gonna run back. Oh, maybe it's because cut? Possibly? No, we have to be able to go over this way, yeah. There is another trainer over here. Okay, there's an item, Sludge Wave. Okay, well, Sludge Wave is a slightly better than move than Sludge Bomb, so uh, if Ivysaur can learn Sludge Wave, I guess we'll teach it to it. Um, it can't, but for some reason, Brewtoad can learn Sludge Wave. Um, I'm trying to think of what Pokemon would be mapped over that it can learn Sludge Wave. Uh, but I'm not going to complain. We're just going to teach you Sludge Wave. I wonder if it had to do with the TM text or whatever, but... Um, yeah. We'll, we'll let Atomic Reactor figure that one out. If uh, you're not supposed to be able to learn Sludge Wave with... I would... I mean, I don't really know what Brutoad and its evolution is based off of, but, um, I mean, it must be off of a frog, so maybe it makes sense that I can learn Sludge Wave, but at the same time, it's still kind of iffy, I would say. Um, wait. Oh, wait, no, Ivysaur couldn't learn that. Okay, that's right. Okay, let's go ahead. Bide, of all moves. Well, if we can get more than Magnitude 4, we should be able to take out this Metapod. Never mind, I forgot it's not very effective against Bug. Okay, well, with Sandstorm, I would assume that we can take this thing out with another Magnitude here. Especially with a Magnitude 8. So down you go. There we go, okay. I forgot that uh, Ground is not very effective against Bog types. I don't know, it just seems odd to me. I don't really know why we're staying in against this Butterfree, but uh, let's Sludge Bomb. Hopefully this is going to be a 2 hit, but it's not. Gust is going to be super effective. Uh, still not... It still doesn't do too much damage. Um, unfortunately, though, yeah, this is where I wish we had Rock Tomb. I don't know. Maybe we should get rid of. Uh, maybe we should get rid of Leech Seed just so we can teach it Rock Tomb. Just to have more moves on it because we. <sighs> Super Sonic, you kidding me? Dude? Why? Why? Why is Super Sonic of all? moves come on can we please just break through once hit the wild charge and we'll all be we'll all be happy thank you thank you goodbye butterfree goodbye uh we'll gain some experience and lose some recoil um somebody here to level 30 i'm pretty sure it was ivysaur we're gonna be hit by sandstorm here and we're definitely gonna switch out no matter what metapod is going to be the next mon in and i think we'll uh, switch in Brutoad for this one. 
uh, because we do know we do know excuse me that scald okos so uh, with that down goes the metapod and uh, okay there's still more Pokemon what's going on another metapod how many metapod do you have like geez luckily scald will continue to oko these Pokemon and there's that. Okay, bug catcher, Lance, down for the count. Turn to Lance with all the Butterfree that you're gonna have. Okay, two citrus berries. Yes, we're going to pick them, um, along with the Lepa berries and the other citrus berries as well. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's continue on down here. Completely avoid you. And uh, let's not waste steps because I am a cheapskate. Haha, <laughs> yes. You all know now. I don't if you couldn't tell already by me. Because <laughs> I've definitely done this before in this series. Okay, wait. Is there. No. Okay, never mind. There's no items there. Okay, this must be the south. Who are you? Watch out for these flowers. Okay, never mind. Thought you might be someone important, but no, you're just another trainer with a Badoo. We've got an Ivysaur, and guess what we can use against you? Yes, I also know that Ivysaur is level 30 and this thing is level 16. We can still sludge bomb it. So down goes the Badoo. Um, I assume Rosalia will be the next Mon in, as it is, and we'll probably end off the battle with a rose ray because i think rose ray doesn't evolve the same way that i mean rosalia doesn't evolve into rose raid through level so you might have a rose raid that's what i was trying to say clearly uh, i'm not good at talking anyways gloom is actually going to be the final mon that they bring out here let's go ahead switch in cadabra because it is a poison type and psychic moves will be super effective against it. Forget that we uh, teach ener we taught energy ball to Kadabra. Anyways, down goes the gloom. There we go. Brutoad's level 29 as well and wants to learn poison fang of all moves. Um Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like we're that much of a special attacker, so we'll get rid of uh Oh, there's an item here. Shh. Roselia, you're not seeing anything. Just kidding, you clearly want to battle me. That's not happening. I will. Re I refuse to let that happen. Is there an item here? No. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, we, uh, first up, we need to heal Ivysaur real quick. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, I literally forgot was what I was going to say. I'm sorry. Um, I know I was talking about how I thought that the trainer might be somebody important, which it's not. Uh, if we hop down here, there's a lick of tongue. Okay, well, I guess the only way out of there is to go this way. We'll probably have to work our way back. Uh, but first up, let's pick these berries. Four Petcha berries. And finally, um, citrus berries. Okay, so there is that. Okay, so down here. I'm guessing you can't go that way because, uh, that area is not mapped out just yet. Uh, let's continue to pick more berries. Um, also something that I've noticed is that I think there are different types of berries like native to each area, which is really cool. Also, why are you like behind the berries? Are you like trying to hide from me or something? I can still see you. I will still battle you, especially if you're a trainer. Um, yes, okay. I am not scared of bugs either. Especially in the forest, because they're supposed to be in the forest. Bugs not in the forest? Uh, I'll just kill them. I'm not really scared of them. Anyways, Magnitude. Magnitude 7. Is it going to be enough to take the, out this Rosalia? It is. Down you go. Uh, Luxio is going to get to level 30. Clef is going to get to 27. And Sandstorm is going to continue on. Stantler is a Pokemon we have not seen so far this game. Um, let's go ahead and use Energy Ball for the first time. That Energy Ball animation is absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to use it again. Uh, sand Attack. 
Uh, that sucks. Why do, why do you insist on using bad moves that hinder my team? <laughs> magnitude, magnitude 6, but we miss. That's also another thing that's kind of confusing. How does magnitude miss from sand attack? Just, just, just a question. Magnitude 8 is actually going to hit here. And that will be more than enough to take out the Stantler. We're going to get to level 31 because of that and want to learn Stealth Rock. Well, if we, uh, if we, uh, what am I trying to say? If we want to competitively battle with this thing, we have Leech Seed and Stealth Rock. Anyways, Luxio is evolving. I forget that he evolves at level 30. So I guess our first fully evolved mod on the team is a Luxray. Crazily enough. Anyways, there we go. Luxio has evolved into Luxray. And there is that. Let's take a look at Luxray. It's almost got 100 HP. Okay, well. With that, let's switch Brewtoad up front. I call Clough is just actually got into level 27 from this and I forgot that we didn't use a repel whatever wild Pokemon here are level 16 uh, great ball that's cool um wait can I be no I was gonna say can I be extra cheap and jump down this ledge no I did not maybe use a freshwater I meant to use a repel okay I know we're kind of over the time limit but we've literally gone over every time limit so far in this game for like every episode so you know you know i know we have to battle this dude um i know i don't know i feel like we haven't done anything like obviously we saw celebi for like two seconds and that's literally all we've done so far in this game uh but you know i'd like to just complete this forest so hopefully in the next episode we can just go through everything or like actually do stuff <laughs> anyways let's go ahead and wait sludge wave and poison fang i just noticed that <laughs> i should have kept nasty plot wait oh whatever it'll be taken out with the burn hopefully okay that's a crit we're good then bj will be taken out by burn this turn i definitely did not think it would be uh it would uh not take it out with a poison fang there. Dustox is going to be the next mon in. Because of our health right now, we're going to switch into Kadabra. And we're going to be extremely risky. Because bug type is super effective against us. Well, we are super effective against it for it being a poison type. Dustox is going to protect this first turn, but won't be able to second turn. As Confusion is going to take it out. There we go. Alright, level 30 on Kadabra. Okay, wants to learn Reflect. Uh, no. Are you gonna want to learn that screen as well? No, you aren't. Okay, Staravia's gonna get to level 31. Staravia evolves at level 36. I wonder if we'll get Staraptor in this game. Anyways, there's the big root. Um, probably a good move for uh, Ivysaur to learn if we uh, needed it. Anyways, um, wait, did we battle you? I don't think we did. Um, do I want to... Do we make this an extra long episode? I think we do. I'm sorry if you have a short attention span. I know I do, but I'm having a blast playing this game. And you know what? Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Wait, can we... No, we can't dodge you. Never mind. Okay, my bugs are beautiful. Well, no, they aren't. Bugs are not beautiful. You know, bugs don't really scare me, but bugs... Most of the time aren't beautiful, although Butterfree does look pretty beautiful because, you know, it's a, it's a butterfly. Butterflies are beautiful. Ooh, crit with Scald. Takes out Oko. Not sure that would happen. Uh, Brutone's going to get to level 30, and Beautifly is going to be the next Mon in. Let's go ahead and switch out into Staravia, I guess. Um, Could have also switched into Luxray, but I thought of Staravia first, so... Whatever, hopefully both will, would have O-Code. Uh, we'll find that out with Staravia right here with an Aerial Ace as it does take out the Beautifly in one hit. And Cleffa is going to get to level 28 and Alex is down for the count. Also, that's an interesting spelling of Alex. Is we can go north here. Um, is this, this, okay, never mind. This is the, uh, 
the uh, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say, you know? Have, have you ever noticed that I like never know what to say? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Also, we were very lucky to uh, not run into any wild Pokemon there. Okay. Well, I guess since whoa, did you guys just see that Pantsage? Was that just me? <laughs> Pantsage was booking it somewhere. I don't know where. Um. Also, let's see. Let's put up Ivysaur up first. Not up third. Up first. Thank you. Let's go ahead and battle you. The forest is so big, I don't even know where I am. I don't know either, my good sir. Anyways, youngster Michael would like to battle. Has a drowsy. Um, okay, let's... Energy ball. Energy ball. And take out this drowsy. Just kidding. For some reason, a level 17 drowsy survived. And Sandstorm's definitely not going to be enough. Nope. Okay, it's going to leave, like, two health. Okay. Well, I know ground is neutral against psychic types so it will definitely take out a drowsy anyways there's that um up next maybe a hypno or something the barrel is going to be the next one in well I'll tell you that energy ball is super effective against the barrel so let's say a water type so down you go and uh i'm sorry if you can hear my dog <laughs> all right stantler is going to be the next one in again Another appearance for this Pokemon we really haven't seen all that much. Anyways, let's go ahead and Magnitude. We only get Magnitude 6, which kind of sucks. Uh, because it's only going to do a little bit over half. Takedown, though, is going to bring it even lower. Especially with that much damage. That did a lot more damage than I thought. Maybe Ivysaur is a little bit more frail than I had uh, originally thought. Anyways, Magnitude 8 will definitely be enough to take down the Stantler. And enough to get us to level 32 as well. So there we go. Youngster Michael is down for the count. And there we go. Wait. Wait. I was thinking that it might evolve here. Well, we get to see Venusaur right now. I'm very excited to see this. Let's see. That thing looks epic. And yes, it finally has a full-on cactus growing out of its back. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I want to learn Thorn Whip. <laughs> Please... I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Energy Ball's a better move. <laughs> yes, we give up on learning Thorn Whip. Wants to learn Stone Edge? Stone Edge. Okay, well, yeah, I, let's get rid of Leech Seed. We've never used Leech Seed in this game. Let's let, like, let's be honest. <laughs> like, if you're going to try and learn Stone Edge, uh, that'd be nice. Uh, are, so, are you a Rock type now, or are you going to continue to be a Ground type? Also, you don't even have 100 health. <laughs> Wait. No, you're still grass ground. Okay. I mean, that's cool. We'll take that. Um, let's go ahead and switch up Brutoad up first. I do still want to clear out this area. <laughs> Pants Age is still booking it. <laughs> right in, <laughs> right into the bug catcher. There's a, also a little chest here. I'm going to get a Miracle Seed. Okay. Um, might give that to Ivysaur and then switch around the Amulet Coin. Uh, five citrus berries as well. Okay. Oh, dude. People like put these things, just have random chests around the region. Um, let's go ahead and move the amulet coin to Brutoad for now. And then we'll give you the miracle seed. There's also a poison barb, I guess we could have given that. There's also a big root, uh, but let's definitely give you the miracle seed. Um,. And let's not run into a Paris. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I know there are um, more bug catchers and bug maniacs is, or bug fanatics. Excuse me, my bad. Let's go ahead and use Scald um, on Spenipede. Um, I know this was a long time ago, but we were still... I was still... Uh, something else to add, I guess, to the uh, closing down of, like, houses is the weather right now is not very nice. Um, it'd be really cool if I could go out and, like, play basketball with my friends or, like, go out on a bike ride. Um, I don't know if, though, I'd be biking through a public park, so maybe they'd yell at me. I'd just be like, I work for Parks and Rec. No, I'm just kidding. I do actually work for Parks and Rec, though. Anyways, the Luxray is going to get to level 31. You did not need to know that also. Venonat's going to be the next Amon brought in here. 
let's go ahead uh, send in Brew Toad. I wonder if this episode's gonna get to an hour long. We'll figure that out. We got 15 minutes left. 15 more minutes to clear out this area. Uh, which I assume we'll probably finish it off by then. But if there's a bunch of bug fanatics, and maybe not, Ninjask is going to be the next to mon, and let's go ahead Scald. Uh, Ninjask is going to be faster than us, but uh, historically it's pretty it's a pretty weak Pokemon, um, and the Scald will definitely just confirm it's uh, fainting right there. Kadabra's going to level 31 uh, along here with Brutoad, um, and that will signify me switching Venusaur back up front, um, and we should probably heal it up. Just, just one more time, hopefully, before we get to the next area. Anyways, uh, there's that. And... Oh, we're up here. Please don't be a trainer. You're not a trainer. What are you, then? The forest is pretty big. Plenty to explore. Good thing I'm not deathly terrified of bugs. We also can't go down that way. Okay. Um, I do want to explore, because I don't think we explored this whole thing just yet. I don't think we did. Like, I know we saw... Yeah, there's an area over there. Oh, we must need... Oh! Okay, that's cool. Uh, we must need... Cut to go over there. Let's use another repel. Um, and I just want to check back up in this... In the top right area. Also, I really enjoy this music. Um, yes, I know we were already here, so we definitely beat all the trainers. I just want to make sure that there's not, like, something... Did we check over here? Oh, yeah, we definitely did. I remember the Pan Pants Age going wild. Okay. Well, that was a complete waste of time <laughs> coming back up here. I thought maybe there was, like, another exit or something, but... Let's go ahead, come back down here, and go back over here. Okay, well... At least we're running around at the speed of sound. Because, you know, we got places to be. Things to do. Uh, please, Pan Sage, don't run into me. That'd be annoying. Okay, well. Maybe we used those healing items. Uh, but, whatever. Let's definitely rust up our Pokemon. Because uh, I'm definitely trying to do so. <laughs> okay, thank you for waiting. Restore your Pokemon full health. We hope to see you again. Cool. Uh, what about you? Amber Trail and Rolling Trail are scattered with beautiful golden patches of grass. I love it. You'll love it. All people will love it. I must write about it. Cool. Um, and we have this a fuel guide to Amber Trail. No, I'd like to be spoiler free on Amber Trail since we're going to be doing that in the next episode. Um, I guess I'll start signing out now. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure to mock punch that like button and of course subscribe. If you guys have not, you don't want to miss out on the rest of this series because... I have been having a blast recording it for you guys. But that's that. Um, I'm going to get up out. This is Kid Raid 5 signing out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and have yourselves a good day.